And hey there, everybody. How is it going? Rye Guy Rocky here, and welcome back to another episode of Area 32. That is right, everybody. We are back yet again with another episode. I still haven't removed these signs. I should... I should probably do that. I should I should probably remove those. So since the last time, guys, I've done a lot of work. So let us begin first by saying um, I do live streams for Area 32 on Mondays at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And a lot of you guys stopped by the last one. It was awesome. And you can see you guys helped me get a lot of cool stuff. For one, you told me to get these cool goggle things, which allow me to basically, it's like a walking, um, one of those thermometer things, except I can have it while I walk so I can see all the little glowy things, like one right there, much easier. And there's one over there on that island. And... I can just see them a ton, a ton easier than before. Um, I can't scan with the goggles, but uh, it, they definitely still help. Anyway, um, I got a lot of donations since last time, so let's go over those. Thank you so much to Mike Stryken. Mike Stricken, Mike Stricken, uh, for the six coal, the six redstone, the ten, oh, then hashtag team snake, just a guy from the north, gave us ten gold, though I think he spelled Ragai wrong, Ragai is not spelled S-N-A-K-E, it's spelled R-Y-G-U-I, but they, they tried, you know, they tried to type hashtag team Ragai, so it's okay, uh, so the gold ingots, the cooked chicken, uh, the raw beef, and then we get one lucky block. So thank you again, everyone, for the donations. It really does mean a lot. If you'd like to support this series and support uh, a charity, by the way, because all money does go to charity, uh, you can support uh, Area 32 by going to a32.co, um, which is uh, the website where you can donate and give us cool items. In ah! What the? What is wrong with you? You're, you're fast. Oh, I killed him. Oh, he was fast. Hi, are you going to hurt me? Oh, ah. Oh, he's... Oh, you're fast. Okay, can I kill you? Okay, got him too. Okay. Let's put down this lucky block over this way. That's... Oh, oh my god. There's a thing on a horse behind me, isn't there? Oh my god. Yes, there is. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta turn to a wisp. I gotta turn to a wisp. I gotta get out of here. Where's my wisp? Eh. Catch me now. Okay, this guy's... Uh, to oh my god. Look at him. He's on a zombie. Oh. Okay, can I get him stuck in the... W what can I do here? Okay, let's eat... <laughs> I'm trying to open lucky blocks. Can you leave me alone? Oh, I can get him like this. And then look, we actually get his horse. Why are you hurting me? Uh, I guess guess he doesn't want to be my friend. Okay, I'll kill you too. Well, anyway, let's open up the lucky block right here. And let's see what we get. Ooh, we got some stone tools. So nothing too great, to be honest. Nothing lucky, but nothing really unlucky. It's not like it blew up uh, our base, which I heard happened to some people on the series. But anyway, guys, so let's... um. I think I got interrupted. Anyway, if you want to donate, support uh, charity goes to um, a company that um, they or a charity. Not they're not a company, but I mean they sort of are, but they're a charity uh, organization. And what they do is they help gamers with disabilities play video games. So something you know that we all have the ability to do, many do not. And they make it much easier for those people to do, and it's really cool. And they're called special effects. So if you're interested in donating that, it's it would be totally awesome, guys. And um, when you when you donate, you can also choose who you donate to. So if you donate to me, I'll get items in game, and you can support me in the game as well. And it does go to a great cause, guys. So I really do uh, hope you donate. Um, it, it it is for an amazing cause. So anyway, guys, let's get right into the episode. Um, so what we're gonna do is, since last time, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update of what's been going on. And let me tell you some awesome stuff has been going on. So if we go over here, um, it looks like I left this open on accident, but you can see, oh, we're having some flux issues here, but if you can see, we have the same research table uh, and the arcane work tables, and we have this now, which is our crucible. Uh, I put fire underneath there, so we have a crucible as well. Now I'm gonna need a flux cleaner to clean up all this flux so I don't get flux disease or whatever it's called. But we can actually create stuff using this crucible, like I made these goggles and a bunch of other stuff. And what we're going to actually go ahead and do... Well, I'm not going to be doing much. Um, but that that's basically... Yeah, oh, no. Hey, Ryan, I found this place. It's pretty cool. Surprised you never told me about it. Here's an egg. I hope it helped. What? Tyser found... Oh, no, I left the door open. So Tyser was able to get in here. Ah. Oh. I was trying to keep this place semi a secret, but obviously that didn't work. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. Tyser, uh, he's still an ally right now, um, and I'm hoping he stays an ally. And Snake, he hasn't come to attack me. I gave him my coordinates, so hopefully he doesn't... Hopefully he finds me as a friend. Anyway, he gave us a dragon egg. That actually makes me really happy. That'll look cool in this arcane room, so I actually really do appreciate that. We can definitely put something cool there, so thank you, uh, Tyser, for that. Um, anyway, so um, we did so much during the live stream, guys. No joke, we did a ton during the stream like so much 
it was so cool and you guys helped me get really far and what we're going to be i'm showing you today guys is many of you guys in the comment section below wanted to see more work on golems and during the live stream, we were able to prepare a golem to show off in this episode. And thank you to Nathan. Shout out to Nathan. Uh, I promised him during the stream I would shout him out because he was such a huge help in getting me to this golem part. And there was also Ice TV or Ice something. Uh, sorry if I'm messing up your name. But these guys were awesome. They helped me a ton during the stream. And I'm just going to show you some basics of how this golem works. I have to make sure I have some of the supply. Oh, no. Can I, I need you. <laughs> I just put him down. Okay. Look, come back to my inventory, buddy. There you go. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll go in here. We're going to grab all the Thaumonomicons we need, all our, our Thaumometer. Uh, we'll just grab some Thaumcraft type related items in case we need them. And, um, and then we'll grab steak. So let's go over this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set up this golem right in this room. And I'll show you relatively what he does using the chest that Tyser actually left behind. So let's go ahead and start out by putting our golem on this. Oh, that didn't work. So you gotta just right click. So there he is. Now he's on this chest. So if I were to, uh, let me go into my human form here so it's easier to see because he won't listen to me if I'm not my human. So turn to my human form. I have what's called a Golemancer's Bell. So if I right click him and then right click somewhere, I'm signaling him to do something at that position. So for example, if I throw, because this one's a gatherer, so I, or I haven't put his animated core, and I have a golem animated, animated core, which makes him a gatherer. If I right click him with that, he actually comes to life. You can see how he lifted his head up there. And oh, Super Chats joined the game. Oh, 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 I see him, he's right there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, so if I throw something on the ground, watch this, he'll go pick it up. And then, He'll put it in the chest. So you can see it ended up in this chest right here. This donation by, uh, well, it said by Munchie? Wasn't that by Mu Oh, by Munchie. There it is, yeah. And so he'll put it in the chest for me. So that's really cool of him. And he's he's honestly a bro. So he's a cool guy. He's a cool cat, you know. And um, he helps. He's, he's very, very helpful. You are a very helpful sir. Mr. Flesh Golem. And I can make different types of golems. The right clicking actually doesn't do much yet. Like if I were to right click my dog with the bell, uh, just makes him stand. If I shift, nope, that doesn't do it. Nope. Okay. But if I right click, it actually just signals him. I can signal him to do different things. It doesn't actually work. And I actually set his home to this chest. So that's his chest where he puts items. And I believe it works with ME systems as well, where I could set it to an ME system and it'll store stuff in the ME system for me. So it's really awesome, Mr. Uh, Flesh got him. Um, I don't have a name for him, and I'm just going to have him sit here for now. But I think I'm going to name him something. If you actually, you know what? No, that's your guys' job. In the comments section below, name him. Name my flesh golem. And uh, we'll think of a name. He's going to be our gatherer and our test subject to give him better animated cores and slowly become the strongest golem in the history of golems. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how Thomcraft works because many of you guys wanted me to really push Thomcraft and really try and make it. Because you guys said Thomcraft down the road can be insanely helpful. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a lot of work with Thomcraft, and a lot of you guys said Tinker and Blood Magic as well, which I'll probably touch upon at some point, but not, not for a little while. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, is I'll show you how the Crucible works. Now, I spent so long messing this stupid thing up. Uh, the Crucible is a pain in the neck to figure out, and luckily, thanks to the people in the stream, I was able to do such a thing. So um, right here we have the Crucible, and what we have to do is first we have to find something we want to make. So let's pull out our Thaumonomicon and look into making something. So if we see here, we could get some, do some research, which I already showed you guys how to do. But I want to show you guys the next thing, how to craft certain things. So um, let's see, let's look into making a, um, let's look, I'll just show you how to make niter, because I always need more niter. So you can see, it, to make niter, you need a crucible. And what to do it, you need ignis, lux, and potentia inside of a crucible, and then I need to throw glowstone dust in, and I'll get one niter. So I'll show you exactly how this works. So let's see if I have those items on me that can do that. Probably not. No. Um, I, so what we'll, we'll go do is we're going to go grab those things that can give us those materials. Um, so what can give us Lux here? Okay, this can give us... See, this is great. This can give us our Ignis. We don't want to overflow it too much. So let's just use a Flint and Steel here. Um, what can give us... We're looking for something. Then we need something that gives us Lux. Uh, so probably a Torch. Um, do we have Coal? We have Coal Ore. If we had coal, it'd be even better. Or no, it, that's what we need is coal. So it doesn't look like we have coal, unfortunately. So we're gonna run back to the base and go grab that. Um, and yeah, so basically, let's see here. We need to get to coal, and then I'll show you guys everything that needs to be shown. Uh, let me see. But da ba ba, or a torch would work. If I had a torch, because torches, I believe, give off 
um, Ignis as well. Oh, I can get coal right in my furnace, actually. So we'll grab, I'll just grab two of that. If we hold shift, you can see that gives us two Ingus, two, the, the you know, the fiery one. I'm having issues here uh, saying it. So there we go. Um, that gives us our Ignis. And then for Lux, we need a torch. So let's go into our, we need wood, sticks. So we need sticks, some sort of sticky like substance. Stick, that's not a stick. Uh, is there any wood? Do I have any wood that is not like fancy logs that'll actually work? Um, I should somewhere. There we go. There's two sticks. And we're going to go ahead and actually craft ourselves two torches using that coal. And you can see that will give us lux instead. So that's all we need. We need, because we need, I believe it was three lux. So let's double check. We needed, yes, three lux, which we have. We needed the three ingus, which we have due to this flint and steel. Um, so we'll just put them all three next to each other here. And then we also, finally, we needed, uh, or what we need is we need a, what you might call it? We need a, there it is, Potentia. Potentia is probably the hardest of the group to get, but it's not overly hard. We just need to find something that gives us three Potentia, in which we can see each of these redstone coal ones gives us two each, and so these give us two each. So we can just take two of these and use these, and that should get us, yep, that gives us four. Um, and so we can throw all three of these items in. Then we just need one glowstone dust, which we can just quickly dig up. I'm sure we have some somewhere. And in fact, I believe we have some right in this outside chest over here. And when we do that, let's see, glowstone dust? No, I don't. So we'll, we'll run to the nether to grab that then. And um, so we'll run to the nether really fast. Oh, wait, wait. No, I definitely have some because I grabbed like 14 stacks last time I was there because someone said I'd need a lot of it. So I just grabbed a lot during the live stream. So there's got to be some in here somewhere. I need a better organization system. I need to get myself an ME system set up so I don't have to keep digging through chests like this. But I'm also known, I have I suffer from a rare condition called lazy a lazy -initis, which basically, simply put, means I'm super lazy. And it's not a real disease. There's the glowstone dust. And, um... <laughs> and I'm too lazy to set up an ME system. Anyway, so we got all the stuff we need. So we'll throw all three of these items in. Um, well, all technically two, five, six items in. And so let's see. We'll throw... Here we go. So we go up to the Crucible, which does have water in it. Yes. Good. And we'll go into our human form because that way we're staying at the right height and we don't mess it up. And we're going to throw... We'll start in by throwing the flint and steel in. And you'll see. Because of my glasses, I can see what's in here. Because the goggles I wear, that's why I got them. And then I can throw one, two in here. And you can see, I can see what's in there. Then I throw one glowstone dust in. And look, it gave me one niter. And it spits out one niter. And then there's still some resources left in there. But, um, yeah. So if I were to throw, like, another one of these in there. And then throw one of these in there. I can actually get another niter. Oh, no. I'm a little low on lux. But, um, you get the point. You get you get the point. Do I have anything to give me lux to get that extra one? No. Actually, if I keep throwing this in, I'll get lux. What am I saying? There we go. And we got a second niter. So there we go. And as you can see, guys, that's how it works. It's really simple, not too difficult at all to use the Crucible. It just took me a while to figure it out. And it is kind of complex learning it for the first time. And Thomcraft is probably the hardest mod I've ever worked with. But it's probably the most fun mod at the same time that I've ever worked with. So, um, yeah, it takes a lot of time. But it's totally, totally worth it. Anyway, so uh, many of you guys were saying that I need to do something with Snake. I need to talk to him or something. But, um, you know... You know how I am. Um, I I don't I, I have trust issues, and one of the biggest things is I don't know if I can actually trust Snake. I don't know if I can trust Tyser. So my best thing is to stay alone. But since the Snake has my coordinates, and so does Tyser, I might as well tell you guys about a secret thing I'm working on, and that is a secret base I'm working on off of camera. That is something I'm not working on on camera yet, and I'm not going to show you guys yet. But it's something I'm. I'm never going to basically go to it. Well, I'll go to it on camera, but, like, I'll never teleport there. I'll never give coordinates there. Like, if I have a teleporter, I don't want to risk the coordinates getting out. And I'm not going to do much there because it's got to stay a secret, at least for now. And I have the coordinates of it. I've been working hard on it. And it's not done yet, but um, I'll show you guys that when it's done. It's actually really, really cool. So, yeah. But as you can see, guys, Thomcraft is honestly one of the coolest mods ever. And um, we did a lot today. We got a working golem we, who just picks stuff up and then puts them down. I pick stuff up and put them down. Mr. Flesh Golem. I want to see if I can get him to do more. And someone was telling... I remember they were telling me in the stream I need some, like, instances or something like that. But I don't know what they meant by that. And so, like, I could have this guy throw... Here, put, put the niter in there, buddy. Will he pick both up? Oh, he will. That's so cool. So what if I throw down dust and coal? Will he pick both those up? Oh, no. Then he goes to pick up the coal. See how cool he is? Thank you. 
Thank you. Anyway, make sure to name him in the comment section below, guys. That is it for this episode. Um, again, also let uh, make sure to let everyone know that um, you support hashtag Team Ragai by putting it in my comment section, hashtag Team Ragai, and going to the other people's videos and typing hashtag Team Ragai and then a comment. Obviously, uh, don't start spreading rumors about me like I'm a bad person because I'm not. I'm a good person. I swear to God. And uh, make sure to also be a cool, cool cat. And um, you know, maybe maybe I will meet up with Snake. Make sure to tell Snake Ragai is interested in meeting up, and I'll probably uh, see if I can set something up with him also. So anyway, guys, that. That's it for this episode. Thank you guys a ton for watching, and as always, stay beautiful, and peace out. Did you watch until the end of the video? Are you even watching right now past the credits? Well, if you did, let me know in the comments section below by just commenting the word cookie.